In this video, we are going to discuss about the five important Selenium projects that you have to do anyhow. Guys, let me tell you that Selenium projects are very, very important. If you are basically jumping into the automation, no matter if you are a fresher who is jumping to automation, manual tester who is jumping to automation, or even you are an automation tester itself, known ID to automation tester also, right? These projects you have to do anyhow, and these are the project exactly you can add to your resume also. A couple of them are basically open source, not all of them. Them, but I recommend also, you know what, what is the problem that you have, which is you guys basically learn automation from a couple of courses or online, probably on YouTube, but you don't do projects. First of all, if you do project, which are basics, second, second thing is you don't do for the, oh, in Selenium, we have multiple concepts like action classes, iframes, DOM elements, or shadow DOM, SVGs, those projects generally you, would, you don't do it, right? So in this session or in this video, I'm going to discuss about the five important projects that everyone has to do and not it down because I'm going to show you the solution also as well as which framework you can use to basically add them to your resume also. All right. So let's get started. The first one is basically we are discussing is the Cura Healthcare. It is a demo project. Of course, it's an open source, which is available. Guys, it is one of the basic project which I am discussing about and everyone has to do it because this will help you to boost up your confidence because the concept here is if you click on the make appointment button, right? Let me show you, right? You just to have to enter the username and password right and click on this. So what are the concepts that you will learn in this case? Okay. Concepts are basically you will learn about Selenium, the XPath, XPath CSS selector, XPath access, XPath functions, drop down, right? Radio boxes, how to handle calendar element, how to handle this booking. So for example, if I enter the collector elements, you can verify, create a 10 test cases and start automated. Now question is promoter, but how do we automate? How do we start automation? Okay. So if you are working with Java, I think we have already created a ATV for ATV Selenium automation framework. You can take a help from this link will be in the description. So make sure you like the video and give us a comment. Give me yes in the chat so that I can add this all these links that you are going to see into a pinned comment. All right. So give me yes in the chat quickly right now. Give me thumbs up so that other people can also get benefit from this. Okay. And if you're working with Python, but what about Python promoter? So Python, yes, uh, automation framework is already read, ready for Python page object model. You can use it. You can basically add it to your resume. The same framework you can use for this. Now, the second important one, which I really love is Orange HRM. This is a open source project. You will find the details. If you want these details, let me know. Pinned comment again, it will be available. I have installed it into my system also. You can create your version also. If you log in right, the one of the important concept here is that in the Selenium, which is web tables, how to handle different kinds of web tables, how to handle notification alerts, pop up, JavaScript executor. Most of these concepts that I have discussed in my Selenium notes also, right? All these concepts are handled. So, how to handle alert, handling alert, checkboxes, web table are most important concepts concepts which are covered in the HRM orange HRM. So create a around 10 cases, add them into your repository. You can basically add them, right? Because this automation frameworks basically support parallel execution also thread supports also. So all these things you can automatically use it directly. Okay. The next one, which I highly recommend, which is more advanced. And this is amazing project. You guys are basically making a mistake. If you are not doing this project, trust me, this is a heat map. Basically it's an open one. It's a heat map of app.willup.com where you will learn a lot of concepts concepts like, for example, hover, then button is visible, click on the window, new window opens up Two window communication in Selenium, how to handle multi tab, which is not supported in Cypress, by the way, supported in Selenium and playwright only, you will see a canvas. So this will open our canvas page, iframe, multi iframes, right? Switching to mobile application, three types of iframes, frame within frames of communication also with the scroll bar and percentage change and the canvas color change verification also. So multiple, multiple concepts, Selenium advanced, you will learn, you can create this, all this generally we cover in our automation tester blueprint Java course, which it is going to launch in February also. So if you want to learn from me, okay, guys, very important thing. See, nobody is telling you these things because these are important things that I have learned. Guys, I have 12 years experience. I am into the automation from long time. That's what I'm telling you, these are advanced concepts. You should now, if you're comfortable with basics of Selenium, right? Because many times we are able to find tutorials on the YouTube or somewhere, right? It is unstructured, but still you are able to understand. Now it's time for you to do some advanced these things like, for example, handling action classes, windows, iframes, uh, multiple boxes, Java executor, shadow dome, SVG, and multiple things in this case. All these you can basically handle in this case, right? So now another one, which is my favorite, I think opencard.com, which is nothing but a normal e-commerce website, login page, registration page, 
page and ad processing page you can basically use it if you want the description if you want the username password for this let me know in the yes just type yes in the chat and pinned comment and give me a like 100 likes the moment we have uh, i will add all the details into this right so i hope this makes sense so all these projects like one project second project third project fourth project and fifth project five important projects i have already told you these are the two repositories which i you can use for python as well as for java guys what is the reason now i hope you now have a concrete resume with you where you have a knowledge you have done everything right i'm pretty much sure you are you will feel more confident as a automation tester thanks for watching i hope this helps this is your host promote and please give it a like and share this video with someone helpful who needs this kind of information related to projects who is searching for projects right please share this video with them thanks a lot bye bye i'll see you in the next video